Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and I've had a few questions concerning um, going to Windows 22 H2, Windows 10, as we are getting close to the end of support for Windows 10 21 H2. So, of course, um, if you type the WinVer command, you know where you are. It tells you that you're either on 21 H2, 22 H2. Uh, the thing that I have been asked is, well, there's a few things. First of all is the uh, fact that we have 18-month cycles in Windows 10, and could that change with the next update? Honestly, if I were Microsoft, I'd get rid of that 18-month cycle thing, and with the next update, 23H2, I'd just put it so that you are until... Um, you know, the end of support in 2025 and just forget it. Um, I think that 18-month cycle is pretty much useless now. Even at 22H2, they should have done that. They should have said, well, this ends the 18-month cycle process. And now let's just, you know, stay on this until, um, you know, 2025 when Microsoft adds support for Windows 10. The other question I get asked, um, of course, is the fact that um, the um, Windows 10 is a very, very high market share, um, above 70% from what we could see. And the fact that we are only two years and a half-ish uh, off of the end of support, could Microsoft extend support for Windows 10? It is a possibility. They've done it only once. Only once. And um, are they going to do it again? That, I don't know. The reason I think why they're probably going into Windows 12 possibility and all of that means that I think they're going to try hard until 2025 to get people off Windows 10 and move to Windows 11 or maybe Windows 12 next year. And they're hoping that with, you know, holding the hardware getting older and older, more and more people are going to buy new PCs and going to move on. And I think that's what they hope is going to happen. The uh, Windows 10 operating system is a very unique that we've never seen that before. Uh, no operating system of Windows was so popular just a couple of years before the end. Usually, the next operating system used to quickly get um, you know new users, and I think that it would be like that probably if Windows 11 would not have such high minimum requirements. There's a lot more people would have moved on to Windows 11. Now, this means that we're kind of stuck in a weird moment where, um, you know, I don't see, I don't see Windows 10 for now going below 50% in a long, long time. And actually, it just had, you know, in the last few months, an increase, rather than, you know, going down. So this is kind of interesting. What will happen there? Uh, that's that's the uh, interesting aspect of Microsoft kind of maybe being stuck in a moment where maybe they'll have to you know tell everybody well okay well we're we're gonna extend support of Windows 10 for a couple of years but you know what they're gonna announce that at the last minute we're not gonna know until 2025 if they ever do it because they're not going to they're they're going to play the game that uh you know no no Windows 10 ends of support 2025 and and move on but if do you, if if in 2025 the minimum you know the the amount of people the market share of Windows 10 is still high they won't have a choice they're they're going to be stuck in too many PCs running Windows 10 and they'll have to they'll have to do something about it so this is going to be interesting to see. I, I am one of those very interested in seeing how the future is going to be for that Windows 10 market share and support. Uh, this is definitely something interesting. And, you know, I, I think Microsoft should do it. Personally, I think that um, there's a lot of people happy in Windows 10. And, and they're even happier now that there's no more big changes in Windows 10. So, you know, why not? Why not just surf with the uh, 
with the wave and say, hey, we're going to give you a couple of years more. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, of course, we have to move on at some point. If Windows 10 would be at a very low market share and Windows 11 would have grabbed a lot of it, I would say, no, there's, you know, don't do that. But I think now that is a possibility, but we won't know, like I said, until 2025 probably. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.